today, I sort of had a little epiphany. Um, I recently bought a road bike because I've been weight training for so many years, but I've never like deliberately done much cardio. You know, all the gym bros don't do cardio. And, you know, for longevity's sake, right? It's better that I start doing some cardio when I'm young rather than later. But anyways, today I was on my second sort of official bike ride. Um, I rode for about 30 kilometers, about a little bit more than an hour. And after the bike ride, I was exhausted, right? I was in constantly in my zone four heart rate. So my heart rate was averaging around... I think it was averaging like 160 to 170. And so it was it was high intensity. Um, and when I got back to my car and I racked my bike and I started driving driving home. I realized I was very calm. And I, I think that calmness was a direct sort of consequence of of the aftermath of the biking session. Because I didn't feel rushed. I didn't feel like I had to get to any destination in that case. In this case, it was home. Because from that bike ride, I sort of realized, like... The, the the most cliche way to put it is that it's about the journey and not the destination. And that's what the bike ride really reminded me of. Um, you know, on the way home I wasn't I wasn't rushed. You know, sometimes you're driving along and somebody you know, you're driving at a good speed and then Somebody just out of nowhere just starts like, you know, almost like tailgating you, right? And then it's like, and then it's, it's sort of this disparity in consciousness. It's almost like you can tell that that person's in a very rushed, very, almost like anxious mental state. And they, they feel like they have to get somewhere or like, this guy's in my way, get out of my way. And then conversely, um, it, it happens the other way around, right? Sometimes you are like that and then it's like there's a bunch of doofuses ahead of you and then they're going so slow and you're just like you're following closely behind them it's almost like you're tailgating them and then it feels like you constantly have to break and what we don't realize is that we create these situations <laughs> off the way off of our own behavior because when when you're rushed, I notice this in myself and I notice in others. Like we we all do this, whether we're the ones that's rushing or the one or we're the ones that's um being the slow guy in front. It's that when we feel rushed, we have this tendency to create a reality of slowness out of our own feeling of being rushed. It's that it's that when when we ourselves in our heads feel rushed, it's we, we, we create our own tendency to follow really closely behind the car in front of us. And then, and then we're constantly sort of accelerating, thinking that by, it's almost like an unconscious thing. And then when the car in front of us doesn't accelerate as much as we do, then we keep pressing the brake. And then we're like, why the fuck isn't this guy accelerating? Why is he going so slow? When it's really our own creation of the problem, when we're the ones that, in our heads, we feel rushed, so we're accelerating more than is justified to keep a safe distance. And then when the external reality, the person in front of us, doesn't conform to what we think they should do, we, ta we step on the brake, and then we get angry at the, at the person in front of us. But really, it's an anger at ourselves, which we project onto others and we don't realize. And so driving home after that bike ride, 
I I noticed how like I I was keeping a far distance from from the driver in front of me and I I didn't feel like I had to follow closely and that I had to pass him. You know, I was just I was just cruising along, you know? My foot wasn't as hard on the gas pedal as it usually would have been. And so it's in this way that we create our own mental our own tension and our own rush to get somewhere. Because we're constantly trying to make reality, we're trying to make external circumstances conform to our will. And and the bike ride made me realize how it reminded me how speed speed is relative. You know, I biked 30 kilometers and that took about an hour but it it the pacing of 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 being on a bicycle it it makes you realize how relatively slow riding a bike is compared to driving a car right cuz i'm riding on the road and the, the cars just are zooming by but i don't feel slow cuz i'm on a bike but then you translate it to the same idea when you're in a car and then there's other drivers. And and you you sort of realize it's a perspective issue. You've been caught up in the perspective of slow only because for me, I've been driving most of, like 95% of the way I get around is through driving. Not much walking, no no like active trans, transport, mostly just passive driving is how i've been getting around and and it's sort of i it the bicycle ride made me realize my own tunnel vision into being impatient and thinking things are slow when really it's just a perception issue it's that i'm so used to the speed of driving on a highway the speed of that car that when somebody goes like five kilometers slower then how fast I want to go, then I get pissed. And so, I don't know if I'm getting my point across, but you, you just realize that there's really no rush at all. The rush only becomes a problem. The problem only exists when you when you sort of get so tunnel vision into your one perspective of about life and how things are that you forget you, there's a different perspective and that that's what the bike ride reminded me of that there's a different perspective and in this case it was speed you know it's something so simple and maybe you think it's pretty stupid as well but like it's crazy what you can realize from the smallest of things um the other thing this one is huge i think even a bigger deal than than the the first thing i was i, I was talking about is it it solidified in my head that really the only problems we have nowadays is that things are too convenient like, I rode my bike to my university campus, um, which usually I drive to. And I drive there so often that it doesn't even feel special anymore, you know? You just drive there and you're there. But the bike ride really made it an experience because it was a struggle. It was a struggle to get there. I was fucking pumping my ass off, climbing uphill and like... Fuck. And when I finally got there, you know, I actually was present in being there. And it felt amazing that I was just, I was there. And I, en I was there to enjoy being there. Whereas normally, when I usually drive there, I would just, okay, I'm here. And then, okay, it's time to leave. But that... The fact of that 
the struggle, right? The struggle of the process was what it made it worthwhile. And you think, and and this got me thinking, like, how many things in our lives are so convenient nowadays? They're too convenient for our own good. We don't appreciate anything anymore. It's so easy to get to different places. It's so easy to order food. It's so easy to get a dopamine hit. All you need is to fucking swipe up, press one button, and then just go like this. It's so easy to get this... To fill yourself up with mental garbage to temporarily fill yourself with chemicals in the brain to, to feel falsely good in the short term. That we've we've forgotten that fulfillment, like actual, lasting, long-term, existential fulfillment comes from voluntarily struggling in this process and seeing that it's the process that's fulfilling and not the destination, right? Because it's so easy to just drive out to campus and I'm there, but it doesn't, I've, I've, I have not had that special feeling of like, wow, I'm here. Then I did just today as I was biking there, it felt special, you know? And so the secret really is in the struggle. And sort of to see the struggle as not even a struggle, but part of the beauty of it all, you know? To see it as part of it all rather than as an obstacle. It's not an obstacle. It's part of, it's part of the joy. And so anyways, 2022, we made life so goddamn easy that the easiness makes everything into a problem. And when you learn to embrace the, I don't even want to call it struggle because it's, It's not something that's negative, and we have to stop seeing that way. When you embrace the whole process and enjoy it all the way there, then you realize it was never about the outcome of getting somewhere, but it was the whole ride there. And that's all it is. Anyways, if you made it this far... Please like my video. (laughs) Please subscribe. Please. I'd appreciate it. But if you found this insightful, that's awesome. Um, If you didn't, I guess I suck. But maybe I'll see you in the next one. Peace.